Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to this week's Gear Short. Now, a little over a month ago, uh, I offered my review of the new Samyang 12mm f2 autofocus lens for Fujifilm, and a couple of people asked if I could compare it to the old manual focus lens as well, and so I've managed to get my hands on one of those and I've been able to compare them for a couple of weeks now, and they're similar in a lot of ways, uh, but there are a couple of reasons you might want to choose one over the other. So let's take a look at those differences in this video. Before we take a look at the build quality of these two lenses, I want to take a moment to uh, thank this week's sponsor. And that big thanks goes out to Roy Cruz for lending me his used and abused copy of this lens to make the comparison. So please do show his channel a bit of love, I'll put some links above and below. And he's also provided me with quite a few beautiful samples from his years using this lens. Uh, so I'll pepper those through the video and also in the slideshow at the end, so stick around for that. So how do these two lenses uh, differ in terms of build? Well, the first thing that you'll notice about the old version is that it is absolutely built like a tank. It's, it's a bit heavier in the hand uh, compared to the new lens, and it feels very solid. Uh, it's got a very utilitarian design, but it feels well made. And you know, when it comes to mounting it onto a Fujifilm body, everything about it just feels that little bit out of place. It sort of really calls attention to itself, especially in the, the silver that I have here. Now the new lens is a bit more subtle in its design, and while I I mentioned in my review that it's you know slightly off color with the Fujifilm bodies. It does fit a lot more seamlessly uh, than the older lens onto onto Fujifilm bodies, and they've hidden that uh, that obnoxious red ring in here as well, which I really appreciate. And overall, the feeling of the new lens is a little bit more refined than that of the old one, which feels a little bit more like sort of a, a school engineering project than the, the refined uh, feeling of the newer lens. But enough about looks. The new lens is also very well built, uh, but from much lighter materials, and it's also weather sealed. Now, when it comes to the focus rings and the feel of the focus rings on the two lenses, although the new lens has focus by wire, I actually prefer the resistance of the focus ring on this. The older lens just has a bit more of a, a tighter feel to that focus ring, and that's, a, that's just a personal thing uh, for me. But having said that, the focus ring on the older lens is probably going to do a much better job at manual focusing for a lot of people, because it is actually physically uh, coupled to the focus mechanism of the lens. You're not relying on uh, the camera and the, the chips in the lens to keep up with you when you begin turning that focus ring. Of course, on the older lens, you also have the physical aperture ring as well, which you don't on the new lens. Now, one final thing that I noticed is that they've actually updated the logo uh, to use regular A's on the new lens. Uh, presumably Samsung uh, took, I guess, issue with their use of the A's without the bars on the old lens. And when it comes to detail, we need to consider the center of the frame and the corners as two completely different parts of the image for these lenses. As a general rule, uh, the new lens is sharper in the center, while the old lens offers you know, better uh, detail across the frame. And this is especially true when you're close to the wide open end of the apertures. Now, as we stop down, the center of the frame begins to sort of even out a little bit on both lenses, and they both produce good detail. However, as I mentioned in my review of the autofocus lens, the corners of that lens never really get sharp. The old lens, on the other hand, does a great job from corner to corner, and that really does make all the difference here. When considering these two lenses in terms of sharpness, the old lens definitely has a significant advantage, unless you're working wide open and looking to use only that center area of the frame to sort of hold detail in your images. A chromatic aberration is similar between these two lenses, and you'll definitely see some fringing from f2 to f4, uh, especially around high contrast edges. But from 5.6 and onwards with both lenses, it's pretty much gone in most situations. And I really couldn't pick uh, one of these two lenses as being a better performer in this regard. Coma is an area where both of these lenses suffer quite a bit. Looking at either lens between f2 and f2.8, there's quite a bit of coma present. And as you can see from the streetlights here, 
here, neither lens could really be said to be ahead of the other in this regard. Once we stop down to f4, both get very good and there's really no coma to be seen. Now, as you can see from this image from Roy Cruz, the coma doesn't really have a, a huge impact when you're viewing images small like this, but once you zoom in or perhaps do a, a large print, you're definitely going to start to notice it. As we do get to f4 on either lens, the coma goes away and we start to see sun stars appearing from point sources. Now, on the old lens, they're quite prominent, but on the new lens, they call even more attention to themselves. So if this is something that you enjoy, perhaps looking at the new lens might be a good idea. The decision regarding the focusing method of the lenses is definitely going to be a personal choice and will be defined by how you like to work. Now, if autofocus is a priority for you, then there's really no uh, competition here. But if you're a manual focus user, it gets a little bit more complicated. Now, the experience with the older lens and its physical focus ring might be a priority for you, and it definitely feels good in the hand, and you can get those very minute changes done very easily with that. But with the newer lens, uh, you actually get access, because it is coupled to the CPU of the camera as well, you get uh, access to that digital um, depth of field scale as well. So there is a little bit of give and take for both lenses here. Now, both of these are good lenses that have flaws in different areas. And the biggest two differences are the corner sharpness and the focusing method. Now, for me, these would be the defining factors in choosing between these two lenses. And if you want corner to corner detail, then the old lens is absolutely the one to go with. But if you want to work with autofocus, then the new lens is really the only choice. Now, on top of that, if you're a bit price sensitive, the older lens is absolutely the one to go with, especially on the second hand market where it can be found for a fraction of the cost of the new lens. And otherwise, I think you'd be happy Happy with either lens. So I hope that this video has been helpful for you in deciding between these two lenses and if you've enjoyed it please do give the video a thumbs up and again thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers!